What up y'all, this is Ayo. Welcome to my foyer, or foyer, however you want to pronounce it. Um, this is my most recent manga collection video. So, enjoy! I've rearranged some stuff. I've actually put some of my books by not only mangaka, um, but also by, sort of by, um, publisher. No, definitely by publisher. And sort of by, um, genre too, like some of my cyberpunk stuff is down there somewhere so I can battle Angel Alita and yeah I wouldn't put the um genre in too much perspective because it's not all by genre but yeah this is Vagabond 1 through 8 by by Takahiko Inoue um if you don't know him I'm sure you should and he also did Slam Dunk which I got two volumes of and I'll show you later on the space painting and that little doohickey right there are by me and then I've got Battle Angel Alita uh, one through five of the <laughs> of the deluxe edition, and then I've got the omnibus of Battle Angel Alita: The Last Orders, Volume One and Two, or Book One and Two, either way. Now here is my Inuyasha section. Mind you, there's one book of Pun Pun missing because I have a friend borrowing it currently. But we have Downfall, Solonin, and the whole set of Dead Dead Demons. Da -da 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 destruction up until the volume that is coming out this year and then volumes one through seven of goodnight pun pun which is probably one of my favorite series um and then a silent voice box set of well the entire series and then here's the sort of cyberpunk section um more or less um the first manga i ever had the complete series of is this akira and to this day it's still one of my favorites and then I got Ghost in the Shell, books one through three. Blom, uh, Master Edition. I don't know why they are out of order, but they are currently out of order. And one through three, that's not the whole series. I have two volumes of Biomega. And then my local comic shop doesn't really have much in the way of manga, but they have Knights of Sidonia, volumes one through five, so I have that. And then Planetes by Makoto y Yukimura, he also did um, Villain Saga, which you probably know a lot more. And here's All You Need Is Kill by Takeuchi and uh, Obata, the people that did Death Note. And then you got Metamorphosis, which uh, I'm not going to show that one. It's by Shindo L. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, it won't be a lot on YouTube. And then Tekken Concrete by um, Taiyo Matsumoto. Uh, book number... Uh, which volume number five is this? Volume one of number five of the original volumes. And then uh, I got that from my friend Harley's shop. And then I've got Opus by Satoshi Kon. And then I'm getting into my Buddha section. Actually, I skipped part of the Buddha section because Saint and Young Men, it's about Jesus and Buddha being roommates in the modern age. And then a bride story. I've only got three volumes of. I don't have the whole series of Saint Young Men either. And then here's my Tezuka message to Adolf. Books one and two, which are the complete series. And then Buddha two through eight, another one of my favorites. If you haven't read Buddha, enter into the live and times of Buddha or Siddhartha Gautama. I might have pronounced it. I would check it out. Uh, I got volume one with the same friend that's Balling Pun Pun volume one. And then I've got Volume 1 of Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin, Volume 1 of Devilman, the Classic Collection, the whole series of Silent Mobius from a $5 bin, which is pretty awesome that I scored for that, <laughs> for that much. Uh, my Lesbian Experience with Loneliness, and my Solo Exchange Diary 1 and 2. Uh, she's pretty cool. I'm surprised not many people uh, talk about her because she's a really good manga. And, I don't know, it's uh, real life stuff. It's true stories, and the art is pretty interesting, too. And then here's Pleasure and Corruption, then Devil Man G, then Orange 1 and 2, and then Orange Future. It's a whole series. Five centimeters per second. The first two volumes of Nagima, and Welcome to the NHK, the whole series. And... Dungeon Knights, I scored from like a 50 cent bin at the local bookstore. And let's get up. Here are my skateboards that I don't ride anymore because my body hates me. 
And then here is the top of the shelf that's going to have pretty much just Shonen Jump and stuff on it. One Shoujo B and Inuyasha. But there's the Claymore box set without the books in it. The Japanese volumes 1 through 6 of Death Note. And then I've got these one, these two. And then I've got 20th Century Boys uh, Volume 5 in Japanese. Because I meant to order the Volume 5 Perfect Edition. And then Volume 6 of Pluto. Conveniently enough, the two volumes of <laughs> manga I ordered in other languages are by the same manga cup. And that's funny and they're in two different languages one's in German one is in Japanese then in front of the uh, Death Note box and the Tokyo Ghoul box are some horror manga that I basically got this one this one and this one all for a uh, well I'll show you a picture of it I was making my scooter decoupage with manga artwork only Japanese manga because my old bookstore in town, well, next town over, had them for extremely cheap because nobody bought books in Japanese, I guess. So yeah, this has eventually just kind of died out, the scooter did. It was a work in progress, but uh, here's some of the work I did for a while, and there was a little bit done, a little bit more done on it before I had um, taken the picture, or after I'd taken the pictures. So here's what I had at the point of taking the pictures, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you! Um, because we're a pretty small rural area, Humble County. And yeah, there's Arnold from Hair Arnold. There's a Buddha. There's a cover of two of those mangas that were, uh, cut up. And this one I never ended up cutting up, actually, because it just ended up being too cool. It's a horror series. Um, and here's a little Pac-Man arcade that I think used to have candy in it. Some blue bread loaf that I had in the drawer for a long time. Speaking of Buddha, there's Buddha again. And then right here I have Claymore, 1 through 10. And then behind the 1 through 10, I have um, 11 through 27. And then <clears throat> uh, I have Naruto 3 through 9. I don't have volumes 1 and 2 yet. I'm there. I have Naruto volumes 10 through 27. And I think that's the first part of the series before it becomes Shippuden. And then let me put those other books up really. Uh, Dragon Ball Super volumes 1 through 15. That is every volume that is out so far. Um, I love spines that line up, like with Pun Pun in the Dragon Ball series and various stuff like that. Actually, yeah, Pun Pun did line up, okay. And there's a few more that do it too that I really like the uh, spines of. And then the Fujiwara Tofu um, AE86 from uh, Initial D. And I've got the three in ones of Dragon Ball, which includes Z, one through three, four through six, seven through nine, ten through twelve, thirteen through fifteen, and sixteen through eighteen, nineteen through twenty one, twenty two through twenty four, twenty five through twenty seven, twenty eight through thirty, thirty one through thirty three, thirty four through thirty six. 37 through 39 and 40 to 42 and there's either Goku or Gogeta Super Saiyan Blue I guess um I haven't watched much of the Super at all yet but here's one through eight of Tennis Prince which I got for like four bucks at the bookstore um I missed number five I'll eventually get it and I got these on a really good score uh one piece three in ones I hate the three in ones by the way not the regular Omnibuy but if they say three in one edition from Shonen Jump they just kind of suck. The Viz Big Editions are decent, but yeah, the paper is just paper thin, if you will. Um, one Piece, one through three, four through six, seven through nine, 11, or 10 through 12, 13 through 15, 16 through 18, 19 through 21, uh, 22 through 24, 25 through 27, 28 through 30, 31 through 33, and I guess that's a few arcs. And then One Punch Man, um, 1 through 9, and then there's Slam Dunk by Takahiko Inoue, um, like I mentioned earlier with Agabond. And then an old version, older version of Battle Angel Alita Volume 1. Nana is an incomplete series, but I want that whole series eventually. 
and I can only score volume one for a deal <laughs> because it's really expensive and I guess out of print. Spy Family 1, Kaguya-sama, Love is War, Volume 1, the whole um, 1 through 12 box set of Death Note, Demon Slayers, Ichi through Go, 1 through 5, um, My Hero Academia, 1 through 7, Inuyasha, who I got from a friend for free because they're awesome. Um, volumes 1 through 17. I'm going to push them in a little bit because they're hanging out a little bit and bugging me. And then I'll go to this shelf with my Hollow Knight characters. This top shelf is Naoki Urasawa, mainly. Actually, only Naoki Urasawa. Except for the one that was only drawn by him, which is Master Keaton. I've got Monster Volumes 1 through 9. I've only read three volumes of it because I actually... Like 20th Century Boys more, strangely enough, which a lot of people don't. Oh, and I never noticed there's a background of that spine, too. 1 through 11 of 20th Century Boys. And then the single um, perfect edition of 21st Century Boys. That's the whole series. The whole series of Pluto, 1 through 8, which is based off Tezuka's Astro Boy. Um, and it's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. There's Asadora, one through two. I already told you about Master Keaton, the one that was only drawn by Udasawa, at least as far as I know. The Femme Fatale art book by, oops, Shuzo Oshimi. Um, it's got a lot of really cool art. Shuzo Oshimi is also another one of my favorite mangakas. Um, there's just a bunch of cool art in it, basically. Um, so this is my Oshimi shelf. Uh, hold up. Shino can't say her name. Uh, that's a one shot. And then happiness. One through ten complete. Um, blood on the tracks is still coming out. Um, and there's just one through eight so far. The flowers of evil complete collection volumes one through four. Inside Madi, there's only one left to come out of this, and that's volume nine. I've got everything else. Now back to Not of Inland Saga, which is the same guy that did Planetess. I've only got one through nine currently. And then I've got the whole JoJo part one, one through three. Um, JoJo part two, one through four complete. And only four volumes of JoJo part three. And then this shelf, I would rearranged quite a bit and I put some of my art on top. And uh, I've got the Berserk Deluxe Editions, one through nine which is, it's still on its way to being complete. The series actually never got technically finished anyways, but. What up y'all, this is a last minute pickup. I will just add to my uh, collection video uh, somewhere in the middle or at the end, I'm not sure yet. Grand Blue, volume 15. And then I got Berserk volume 10. Thank you, have a good one, bye. Helsing one and two, there's one more deluxe edition that I need to get if I want it. Um, Blade of the Immortal, one through three of the deluxe edition. There's nine, eight or nine of them. Drifting Classroom by one of the godfathers of horror manga, Kazuo Umez. Uh, comment if I'm saying it incorrectly. And then another five dollar score, Fruits Basket, eleven and twelve of the collector's edition. One and two of Prison School, which I paid a regular price for for the most part, um, considering that they're still packaged. One through four of Yamushi Pedal. School Live, I got from a loot crate. Um, the Gods Lie, which is a one shot. Ajin, volume one through uh, three. Toilet Bound Hanako Kon, which I got from my mother two Christmases ago now. Crying Freeman, which I had gotten from my friend Harley's shop again. Barefoot Gen or Jen, either way, I think it's pronounced Gen because there's a ge sound in Japanese. Nazca Valley of the Wind, one through three, and then four through seven of a different shaped one. And there is my business card for when I was making art. I'm covering up my info. <laughs> and then my Jinji Ito section. What up, y'all? Suddenly, we have arrived in my bathroom. This is where I keep uh, a few of my short stories and some poetry from various artists. Um, I, get you, I bet you can guess. One of the short stories, which isn't a book of multiple short stories, 
it is a book of one short story, and it's by Hirohiko Araki. It's Rohan at the Louvre. You could have guessed it. Then Shintaro Kago's uh, Super Dimensional Love Gun, and then you guessed it. Some more uh, Junji Ito's most recent book of short stories, Deserter. And then my favorite book of short stories by Junji Ito, Shiver. And then we're getting on to the poetry, a book of haikus. I squatted at the thrift store a few years back. Um, true reviews, I also squatted at the thrift store. The $10 is not the actual price. That is the price before I got it from the thrift store. And The Flower of Evil, the original one by Charlotte Boulet, um, or La Fleur de Ma, I think is how it's pronounced. Yes, it's French. This is The Night Cafe by my friend Jay at The Night Cafe in town. Uh, he's all around a good artist. He does all kinds of paintings, drawings, poetry. He's, he's pretty sweet. He's pretty awesome. Um, anyways, and then we're on to the last one. This one. Where Would I Be Without All of You by uh, Lainey Edmonds. On um, Instagram, she goes by Creer, C-R-E-E-R, L'Amour. So, something of love, I guess. And then, um, that is the bathroom, and I will get back to the regular video. Um, aside from the, um, ones that I showed you in the toilet room, the Cat Diaries, the regular one, not the, uh, new deluxe one. Um, Fragments of Horror short stories, Smash short stories, <clears throat> Ramina, which is a one-shot. And then Tomie Uzumaki and Gaio Gil, um, which are one shots. They're really, I read these ones and they're really good. And then I kind of want to collect the 1 through 41 of Berserk Tonka Bonds too because I really like Mira and Berserk. And then I got Gigantomaxia, which is Berserk's one shot, or sorry, Mira's one shot. And then I got 1 through 4 of I'm a Hero um, Omnibus. And then I've got Gantz, Omnibus Volume 1. And then this is and a Dark Horse Legal Drug, which I got many years ago. Omnibus, complete series. Parasite 1 through 8, complete. Ruby Volume 1, with a W. Battle Royale, Angel's Border. My Son Eco. Golden Kamui, Volumes 1 through 7. The complete series of Tokyo Ghoul. And... The rest of the Viz Sigs are B Stars 1 through 15. I think there's one or two volumes that have come out after this, and there's more on the way. Um, I've been having a lot of trouble saying this word because, um, well, I was in therapy for a long time, and I can sometimes say it sweat and soap. Um, I have a fear of perspiration, um, just part of my OCD, I guess. Blue Flag, and these are mainly romance series on this uh, shelf, like rom coms and stuff. Blue Flag, volumes 1 through 8 complete. And more blue, Grand Blue Dreaming, volumes 1 through 14. There's one more out and more to come. Um, Wotakoi, um, Love for Otaku is Hard. Not simple. I haven't heard much about this one, but it's really good. I read it. The art is very peculiar. And Natsume Ono also did, um, I don't remember what it was called, but there, there's one at my uh, local bookstore. Way of the House Husband, 1 through 4. Hilarious series. Quintessential Quintuplets, I am at number six on. And then here's my one through six of Attack on Titan that I've got so far. Majority of my Western graphic novels. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, complete collection one and two. Uh, Transmetropolitan, I think there's two more after this. Maybe more coming out of the uh, of these ones. Fight Club 2, V for Vendetta, Be Prepared was a thrift store find. Jam was a thrift store find that my niece bought me. My 11 year old niece was probably 10 at the time for like 50 cents. My Friend Dahmer, which my partner had given me. Total Tank Girl from the local bookstore. And one of the first graphic novel series I had completed that weren't manga, which came before mangas when I got it, is Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. One through six complete. Here are some of my shades and glasses, <laughs> irrelevant. And then I have some single issue mangas and stuff right here oh i totally tried to record this a minute ago but was dropping things and i also actually didn't hit record so that was fun some random language books some comics a uh, single issue there's some shoujo beat there's one western graphic novel there's even three cds 
of music. And then there is some little other manga compilation books. And, uh, yeah. And some skateboard magazines and stuff, too, and stuff like that. And I'm going to take them all out of this cubicle thing, this milk crate, if you will. Okay, so here are all these books and magazines and mangas and graphic novels and comics and stuff taken out of the shelf. Um, and there's a 7-inch record of Skull Stomp, Bad Intentions. I don't know where it came from. There is a Devil Makes 3 album, or CD, I guess. And then there is one of my favorites, The Day the Country Died by the Subhumans. They're actually coming to my small, crappy area very soon, October, I think. I missed them the first time they came through. They're all the way from England, and they've been around since the 70s or 80s. And then the cyberpunk of hip-hop, Deltron 3030, also known as Del the Funky Homo Sapien. This is his second album as Deltron. You've probably heard him in Clint Eastwood by the Gorillas. He is a pretty fucking dope MC. <laughs> and this is Crying Freeman, um, issue one that I got from my father-in-law. Um, issue four, which I'm supposed to have behind issue two. And I am missing number three. <laughs> um, here is Urusei Yatsuda by uh, Ramiko Takahashi. Dirty Pair, number four. Um, Johnny is Dead by, for Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, and this one was given to me by my partner. Thank you. Dirty Pair 3. They're, oh, messy. Okay. They're all going to be way out of order. It's okay, because I'm ridiculously trying to keep, um, Manga Blast, a little manga collection book, I think, that I got from my father-in-law. Um, Shoujo Beat, the one with Nana, was the one I wanted the most. And, um, then there is... Put that around that way, because it's right to left. And then the one with Absolute Boyfriend, which, um, I have not read any of yet. And then the one with Meriwether, and I used to have a bunny named Meriwether. Um, not why I got the bunny, it, I have never read the comic. But uh, this one has a disc in the back and it's still sealed and I got them from the bookstore before uh, they got rid of their used sh uh, shoujo beads. Um, 2001 Nights, which I, which I guess might be based off 2001 A Space Odyssey. It's volume 2. And then um, Tokyo Pop Manga, Pies Little Collection. And another Manga Blast. Thank you. Put these standing up again. Um, <clears throat> Soul Samurai. A lot of these uh, single issues are from my stepfather, or sorry, my father-in-law. That is Zap Comic 13. Uh, if you've heard of Robert Crumb, R. Crumb, he is a he's the guy that did Fritz the Cat, and he also did um, Keep on Trucking poster. There's Preacher I got from a uh, secondhand type store. Uh, Krampus, uh, it's the, just the whole book, I, I guess. Um, um, this one looked pretty freaking awesome. Some acid style art, Avenue D. So I'm all down with that. And then a book on Korean, which I haven't studied many languages in a while, um, but I am at slash was an aspiring polyglot. Here is learning Hiragana Katakana, easy peasy. Got that done, shoot, almost a decade ago. I'm pretty basic. Um, manga workshop, how to draw characters. This is a local book about just kind of the punk scene back in the day locally. 1993 through 1995, even on a certain street in our town. I guess there's about either a house or squats they used to live in, which squats our houses, but they're, you know. Um, a book on Copic Markers, pretty awesome. Um, Asperger's Syndrome, a guide for parents and professionals, and partners and myself, apparently. And then Thrasher Skateboarding, 
you're gonna come across quite a few thrashers now because I wish I could skateboard and I am a poser. <laughs> Thrasher again. Um, and I used to have, I, I, typically I used to skate pretty often, but now I'm in the hole of crippleness. I can still walk, I guess, and that's pretty good. Here's the Savage Henry local magazine, free. It's a local Humboldt County mag humor magazine. It is fun. You should check out Savage Henry if you can. At a club here now. Um, where they host actually some people from out here and locals. Here's a photographic magazine. And then another Savage Henry, the science issue. Ugh, don't care if it gets wrinkled too much. The PG issue. <laughs> um. Another free skateboarding magazine, Skate John, John, J A W N. Um, I was getting these from a skate shop when I was trying to get back into skateboarding a couple years back, and because uh, I like freebies. Um, more Skate John, John, that guy, or name or word, more of it, and some more. And then another of the Skate John. I'm just going to call it Skate John. Fine. Um, and I think that is the final one. There's Usagi Yojimbo, um, book two of one of the versions by Stan Sakai. He, um, that is the same publisher that publishes the Ninja Turtles and then some other stuff. The publisher is, uh, actually this is not published by, it's published by Fantagraphics, but it's usually, um, IDW and then in the bargain bin when I got the dragon one that was over back there somewhere I got a street or sorry speed racer light novel I guess it's the light novel it'd be my first light novel if it is see there's pictures and words um I guess that classifies as a light novel I don't know what up y'all I decided to um add my thrift store finds to this one so they're all in Japanese but so far it's this one it's the life of some little kid because it's Chen which means like little or baby it's like a term of endearment this is life which is either his name I don't remember the psych uh, I don't remember the word for life and then of so I'm guessing and this is something to do with living too I guess um the life of this person I guess is what this boils down to I don't know I don't know very much Japanese I really don't know um, kanji very well I only know like 200 of them but there's that one and then this one is easy enough because it was Katakana. There's Square Enix. Uh, I mean, sorry. It's by its own. It's made by Square Enix. Um, Star Ocean. I don't know if you've heard of the uh, SNES or the Super Famicom game because it didn't come out for SNES. I think there was some re-releases for like the PlayStation, or PlayStation Two, or something too. But uh, yeah, I love Star Ocean, and so that's pretty cool. And then it's volume uh, twenty-five. It says, and as you can see below it is is another star ocean and it's volume 18 all right thank you i'll throw this in there somewhere randomly and also one more thing i hope since i'll have the video theoretically finished tomorrow um i also have um bloody of the immortal Dr deluxe edition volume 4 coming out so there's that too um i should come to the ups store sometime in the a.m so that's it thank you. um and then i will zoom out and show you my pictures and posters and Oh, I'm tearing up my Berserk books. I'm um, not my Berserk books, but I'm taking the posters out of the uh, two deluxe editions I have. Some more of my paint jobs. Um, a blotter paper with eight pieces missing. Mmm, interesting. A calendar. More uh, Berserk. More Berserk. Uh, Tekken Concrete. More Tekken Concrete, which I also tore out of the book. It was kind of complicated without tearing the book. A work on my friend's art, Mr. T on the left. He's only saying T because that's the beginning of his last name. I'm not going to say his first name for, <laughs> um, and then more berserk. And then I got this off Wish a long time ago. It's in Hangul, which is the Korean writing system. And I just thought it looked cool. It's cyberpunk lady stuff, you know. And I guess that is my collection. So uh, take care. Have a good one. And I hope you enjoyed. 
Sorry about all the stuttering and words and stuff going all haywire, but I hope you have a good one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all very much. Later.